In the last few sections of our CryoClear training certification course, we will be dealing now with proper use of CryoClear, but we'll also be talking about before treatment with CryoClear and after treatment with CryoClear. Before we talk about <clears throat> specific protocols, let's just keep in mind um, the, the all-important Fitzpatrick uh, scale, and uh, which helps us and guides us into um, how to treat different types of skin. Uh, ob obviously, darker versus lighter has different uh, requirements and different potential outcomes. The scale itself, as our tool, was developed back in 1975 out of the Harvard Med Medical School by uh, Dr. Fitzpatrick. Um, the scale, as we know, classifies a person's complexion and their tolerance to sunlight. Um, it assists us in how to understand uh, our clients and their medical or aesthetic treatment protocols uh, in light of their skin type. So the darker the Fitzpatrick type, the more melanin that is produced, potentially the more difficult the treatment. And it also has the other side, which is removal of um, uh, pigmentation has always the potential of leaving behind a hypopigmented spot and what will be the outcome of that uh, when using products like CryoClear becomes one of your main concerns. We'll try and answer some of those as we go through this. You know the the types that are uh, on the scale and their basic characteristics. This is just a reminder that goes from um, the person who's uh, ivory, white skinned all the way to very dark brown skin and those in between of different ethnicities, different geographies, different lifestyles. So all of that is, is part of your consideration before treating with CryoClear. Now, <clears throat> CryoClear works in two ways. One, it, it has a cold gas that when sprayed on the skin um, kills the targeted tissue in the epidermis. Uh, second, the spray itself is uh, a spray of carbon dioxide ice, which is um, similar to what you would do with microdermabrasion where you are hitting the skin and the, the crystals themselves are having an effect on destroying the intercellular adhesions that we see in our targeted uh, removal area. So what we suggest as a pretreatment protocol is that you assess the client's Fitzpatrick's uh, uh, age, uh, uh, type, health, and any potential contraindications. We, uh, we believe that um, uh, greatest value comes only from treating the skin that is well hydrated. So exfoliation of the stratum corneum prior to cryoclear therapy um, is valuable, and that could be a microdermabrasion, a dermaplane, uh, collagen induction therapy, superficial chemical peels, or ultrasonic scrubbing. Um, any, <clears throat> any way that you accomplish taking off what is already essentially dry, desiccated cells at the stratum corneum only allows the energy that you're using during the spray time with CryoClear to be that much more effective. Following exfoliation, we believe that um, a treatment with a hydrating uh, formula such as hyaluronic acid serum over the entire area is uh, really valuable because it will be hygroscopic, it will help bring in moisture to the area. And of course, if we're trying to freeze an area, then, then moisture is what's needed. Anything that's dry will be less effective uh, when um, sprayed with um, um, CryoClear. And so uh, when you hydrate the area, remember there, there's a period of time um, that is um, uh, needed for the moisture to accumulate and basically prepare the area for the treatment itself. This concludes this section, and uh, now we'll be moving on to cryoclear treatment.